happy trail. Happy trail Welcome to the February 2013 winter episodes of Hiking Toronto Trails for Zoomers. If you're looking for a terrific cheap way to keep fit in your Zoomer years and beyond, Toronto has a fantastic network of parks that mostly follow the many creeks and several rivers created after the last ice age ended about 12,000 years ago that flow basically south through Toronto from the North Highlands of the Oak Ridges Moraine to Lake Ontario through spectacular ravines and valleys along the way. There are two ways to explore Toronto trails. The most popular way is the many paved pathways and groomed open areas with picnic tables, barbecues and washing facilities. Many people either hike or bike many of these paved pathways of Toronto's many parks for fitness and enjoyment. If you're looking for more of a challenge, take any one of thousands of dirt trails that branch off from those paved pathways and dive into the woods. These dirt trails are amazing. Get into the woods away from the paved pathways and you could almost swear you're in the wilds north of 60. The dirt trails comprise a range from easy and flat to ruggedly difficult and quite steep. The most continuous trail elevation change of almost 500 feet, about 167 meters, occurs in the Don Valley from the banks of the Don River near the Brickworks Quarry up to the top of the West Don River Valley in Sunnybrook Park. It is in fact possible to hike the network of some of the parks and trails of Toronto from the shores of Lake Ontario all the way up past Steeles Avenue and beyond. While you can often find yourself quite alone on many dirt trails, you can also often find yourself sharing them with quite a few other hikers, frequently with dogs. As for wildlife, these woods trails abound with the expected birds and squirrels and some chipmunks, but you can sooner or later expect to cross paths with the numerous deer, foxes, even coyotes. In the fall, October and November, you can be almost guaranteed to spot quite a few salmon making their way up the largest creeks and rivers. My wife and I have been to every province and territory in Canada and we have seen more wildlife in the ravines and valley woods of Toronto than anywhere else we've hiked in Canada. We highly urge you to take along a camera or two. The trees and plants are equally spectacular. During the colder months, when the leaves are gone, you can see much further through the woods than during the warm months. Indeed, trekking the passable trails in winter is an experience worth taking frequently. Just be extra careful, for many can be quite treacherous to traverse in the winter. Each episode of our series will feature a different park and trail to hike, and my wife and I hope you will gladly tune in to watch each one as we show you the wonders in store for you when you too go hiking Toronto Trail. <laughs>